guys, it's Becca and welcome to a cozy little coffee chit chat today here at the carriage house. There's a lot to catch up on as you can see in the, the thumbnail and the, the, uh, the title. So there's a lot going, going on here. It's been really, really busy. Um, the kittens, just, there's a story behind, uh, behind which I will tell you about in a few minutes. It's, I feel, feel like it's a divine, definitely a divine intervention with whatever, especially with all has been going on around here. But uh, first I just want to say I hope you all are doing well and I hope all is, is good. Um, I'm still trying to get to comments, all the sweet comments lately, the past few videos, and I'm still trying to get to those. And I haven't gotten to them as quite as I, as, as, as I would like to. Um, mainly because used to at night, I, that's when I would reply to comments. I would edit and, and get a lot of that done because you know, we have four kids, and including a, a two-year-old and a four-year-old, almost five. And that's when a lot of, you know, a lot of that could be done. But I've noticed I haven't, I wasn't sleeping well at night because of maybe the computer screen, you know, just the, that white, the bright light. And um, it, it just wasn't, I wasn't getting the, the good quality sleep that I need. So I ended up putting the computers and you know, phones all that away about after eight o'clock, and I end up, um, my husband and I end up, we, we, you know, we may watch like a movie, or sometimes we watch Julie Child, or little things like that, but it tends to be a little bit more subdued, um, or the fall ambiance, you know, how, how you have that fireplace on, and uh, falling leaves, or snow, or whatever, you know, on YouTube, but that, again, those seem to be a little bit more relaxing and, and subdued so so I'm not getting quite as you know much as I like in at night but I but I you know decided to put that away and it, it seems like I am sleeping a little bit better but I do have a slot time slot in the afternoon where I tell my kids I need to respond to my to my comments viewers and subscribers because you guys mean so much to me so I tell them I'm like you you know I need to do this <laughs> you can run off and play um, so there's that and then also too you this microphone that I use this lapel here it doesn't seem like it maybe it's maybe sound fine to you guys but it's not as good of a quality as what I normally use for voiceover so I apologize if, apologize if it's not that nice sound there might be some like noise in the background uh, not like physical noise but just that staticky kind of noise or you may not be able to hear me well you may have to turn up your volume really high but I did get a uh, a new mic a lapel for when I do do these kind of one-on-one -on -one, uh, videos so hopefully when I get that set up it'll it'll work out a lot better but it really is a um, a very chilly fall day out right now and the leaves are you know it's definitely we're very deep in fall so cold weather is coming soon at least to us in, in Iowa um, so today I've just been, uh, we finished homeschool uh, not too long ago. Uh, usually Thursdays are kind of laid back and we do games and just kind of wrapping up what we, what we did for the week. So I'm kind of looking forward to, to the weekend. Okay, so we're going to start with the, the kittens, the kitten story. I'll, I may feed them uh, in a few minutes. They're playing. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, especially at the end of the video, I'm going to get some footage and, and put, uh, get a lot of pictures and not pictures but videos and I'll post at the end of the video um, of them playing and you can see but I may here in a few minutes grab grab one so you can see actually I'll grab one real quick but this one we don't have names for them yet but uh, I do, well actually I do have one one little cat over there that's playing his name Xavier so all this is actually tied around him the little boy who uh, end up passing away. He was about an hour from here. Um, they're still trying to determine the cause of death and everything, but I know I've talked about him a lot in my, the past videos, and it just really, uh, that's what really did me in these past few months. It just affected my heart in such a a way. He was found in a cornfield. Um, uh, he went missing for about four months, and it, just real close to home. We were real big advocates for the family and everything, so so anyways, okay, so I'll start, I'll start with, with the story. So, okay, so this past month or a couple months has been pretty difficult. You know, we all go through hard times. I know it's just not me. I mean, we all do, but it seemed like it was kind of coming just in a series where I couldn't kind of catch, 
catch a break. So my grandmother ended up passing away, and she lived a good life. She was, old, you know, she was in her 90s and everything, but it's still, you know, it's it's still sad and uh, and everything. So and there's that, and then I ended up having a, a miscarriage. You know, you see the pro po positive pregnancy test, and you get excited. We actually we weren't even planning for a, a child, but we were. When I found out, I was excited because, of course, we we're gonna accept the child, and and I, I was just really excited. I knew I thought I was getting. I was like, oh my gosh, because I'm 41, and uh, and but you know, joy sort of uh, took over, and 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 kind of um, all those the negative thoughts and the doubts and all that it kind of went away, and everything. I was just just pure joy, but, but it was an early miscarriage. So I, I guess if it were to happen, I'd rather have happened earlier, but you know, and that, and that's hard. That's kind of emotional. It's, that's hard. I know some of you have had that. And, and so there was that. And that was actually the day, uh, after I found out that Xavier had been discovered in the cornfields and, uh, I'll leave the link down below too, if you're interested in the, in the case and everything, but that was a little, little strange and everything. So, and that took a definite toll on me, especially a child. It, he was eleven or, or 12, eleven, I believe. It's just tra it's tragic. So, so after that, um, my, uh, I was just kind of, you know, I, in, a, in the videos too. I was just like, it has just been really just kind of pushed down a little bit. Like I can't get up to the surface and and do the daily things that I that I found joy in, just the simple mundane um, things that I do around the house. Because I, I, you know, we live out in the middle of nowhere. I know most of you know, and uh, I only get out of the house once a week. So I end up um, staying at home. We go for walks and all that kind of stuff. But I'll show you Xavier. He's in a, in a real serious uh, play, play time with one of his sisters <laughs> over there. But this little fella's cute too. But so anyway, so a couple weeks after that, I was telling my husband and we were talking about, well, maybe another kitten. I was thinking about maybe finding an orange kitten just to kind of almost as the, like therapy and healing. And I know we have a ton of cats already. And so we went to, um, I was looking around. I was looking around like you know, Craigslist and everything. And I wasn't having much luck with finding it an orange kitten but just any kittens for that matter because it's not really that time of year but and then I was looking at shelters too because that's our first that and then usually Craigslist because usually they give them away for free and you know sometimes they don't, those are the ones that don't end up in a good home but then the shelters we were looking for one and there was one about an hour away from here but he wasn't going to be ready to, to take home until like mid-November which was fine I was kind of I was like okay we'll we'll wait so Okay, so about two or three days later after that, I just, I thought, well, I'll, you know, I'll wait and see what happens. I'll go outside and find about six, literally, all orange kittens. They're mostly all orange. This one's probably the orangest one. The other one is um, Xavier, the other one that I named. I thought this one was a girl at first. We thought this one was a girl at first, so I was, I was like, okay, well, um, the other one, which are they're all sweet, they've got all sweet personalities. But the other one has a lot of orange on him too, and he's he's white. I'll show you. So that one's Xavier, and then we ended. I think he, this guy may be. I don't know what we're gonna name him. I don't know. Uh, my kids want to name him. So you know, this. I think they wanted to name him um, like Pudding and all that stuff, and that's all cute. But then part of me wants to name him after like literary. Um, uh, people like, uh, you know, Edgar for Edgar Allan Poe or uh, Arthur, Arthur, King Arthur, <laughs> or uh, um, what's his name? Not, I forget, I forget their names. So there's two girls I was, we were thinking about doing Mary Shelley. It's with like Frankenstein, stuff like that. You guys let me know if I should give in to my kids and do like the, like the puddings and the, all the, <laughs> Which I probably should, but they. But then I told them I said, "Well, you guys name the chickens, so you know, you know, maybe that yacht, maybe I can name these cats." <laughs> but we definitely have the one Z the Xavier, because Xavier's favorite color was orange, and um, that I feel like it's and it has helped. It honestly, it has because I feel like just finding a little more purpose, taking care of of something that highly depends on us. And I know my kids 
are the same way, but it's, you know, it's different. So, um, okay, so the rest of the story, I'm going to take a sip of my, I think that's a Cinnabon coffee. Okay, you go play, and I'll show you the rest of it. Uh, Cinnabon, one of the Cinnabon coffees, but it's not sweet. It's, uh, it has that cinnamon essence, but it's not real, real sweet. But uh, anyway, so the mom, I, I saw her. So we have, okay, so we have four, ki four cats out there, and they're feral. And then we've been in the process of taking them in to get, to get fixed. And we've gotten two already because, you know, and, and then get to the, ra get the rabies shots. It's just good, a good thing to do. But I guess we were a little too late, which <laughs> good it was a happy accident but I went out there it was raining and I saw um like a cat like a big it looked like a really big cat and I knew it. I was like that's not one of our cats because our cats the feral ones are kind of small and uh so I went out there and it was raining and the mama cat which I don't think I've seen before but maybe she's been at you know they don't let us get real close to them we feed them the barn you know it's heated and they've got food out there they got water they've got so they stay out there they live practically out there but the feral kittens don't at least ours they do not want us to get next to them and uh, so I went out there and I looked and I saw it was raining it was raining really hard and the mama cat was laying near the wood pile and all the little kittens were trying to nurse and I usually normally I don't uh like to interfere or anything uh, I like to just have nature take its take its course or what you know I don't I don't like to but they were like shivering and they were cold and I know with baby kittens that's kind of the number one thing that you it's almost more important I hate to say this but more important than food is their they need to be warm uh, because their temperature at the levels uh, their body temperature can kind of go up and down fluctuate can, and that can kind of harm them so I'm not sure why she was didn't go into the barn or I'm not sure so but she let me get up close to her and and she uh and so what I did was I, I took the kittens and I put them in a box right into the barn next to the wood pile and uh, so they could be dry and she and she didn't really run off that quick she kind of just kind of went away a little bit and so we left them in that box uh, and, and let, we let the, the garage door, or not garage door, but the Morton building door up so that way she can get to them um, because their scent of smell is amazing. And I know she would have smelled her kittens, you know, because I don't want to take them away. So they were out there for a few days and they just kept, they were just meowing a lot and which is kind of a sign that they're hungry. So so I was kind of, so I was worried and they were too young to feed, too young to feed regular cat, like uh, canned food. They actually are, I'm, I'm starting on them right now because uh, I think they're about five weeks old right now. So, um, but we did end up getting, so I was worried because I'm like, is she not coming back to feed her kittens? So I, we ended up getting a, um, a little hunter cam uh, and put it out there. And we noticed at night, you know, all the cats were out there, all our feral cats, because that's where it's, they kind of, they eat, they don't sleep really because they're, well, you know, hunting or whatever they're doing, but they, they're eating out there and everybody's out there. But I didn't see, never saw the mama cat. We saw her eating, but we never saw her get into the box. And she, and it was the type of box that was kind of easy for her to get in, but it was high enough to where the, the kittens couldn't. No, oh, here's another one. They need clean. Their eyes need I've been trying to clean them off a little bit. And they clean each other, but usually the mom will clean. But here's another one. They're all, these are the lighter ones, kind of like that. So I wouldn't call, necessarily call these an orange one, but they're so sweet. I think that this one's a little girl. We're still trying to figure it out. Um, I'll get Xavier in just a minute. But, uh, so anyways, so, so we knew she was taken care of. She was taking care of herself and everything. And we thought maybe she was just tired. She, I mean, for four weeks, three weeks, she was nursed because they looked pretty healthy and everything. And I wanted to give them a chance to, and we couldn't bring her in because she wouldn't let us catch her or anything. And I wasn't about to do that because it's just, so we ended up, um, uh, bringing them inside because it was just starting to get cold. And I thought, well, let me just take care of me, you know, I'm, I'm like in heaven here with my cats. Uh, so it's it has been it has helped me in the, the whole healing process, though, with what's going, you know, what's been going on, everything. It has. It's just it's funny, and the kids too. It's good for the kids because they can 
bottle feed them and my two year or my <laughs> I had to watch out for my two year old because he can't he'll end up stepping on them and hurt, hurting them but my five four year old is trying to feed feed them and he does a good job but I look most forward to at night when all the, the kids especially the young ones are in bed and oh here's this little we were thinking about naming, naming him either latte from my, my kids I actually like, kind of like a little bit better or Lord Byron my husband was saying because <laughs> Mary Shelley and the Lord Byron they're all they were all friends and, and poets and all that stuff but uh, this guy's funny him Xavier and this little guy are the three main big brothers and they're they're always fighting over the bottle and everything so um i just said you guys so that's that so we're taking care of them inside they're in our my room right now okay so this one's xavier so he's he's pretty pretty orange and got some orange and white ones they're all crawling on me now i have to wear my uh i have to wear shirts well this one's not long sleeve but I try to wear long sleeve shirts and shirts that come up to here because their little claws are like just they are very very sharp <laughs> so, um but they're so sweet you know it's it's funny because kittens they're so peaceful and when they sleep and then they just when they they're quiet but they're real paranoid at the same time they're just like <laughs> so, but this one is the savior so the one thing I am going to have a hard time I'm trying to you know, my husband's like, one cat can stay inside, which I completely, you know, he's very patient. We already have like nine, ten cats in, inside. Well, one stays outside because she likes it better out there because she, she doesn't like all the cats. <laughs> um, but for the wintertime, she sometimes comes in. Um, but the rest of them are going to, uh, one we're going to keep in. I'm hoping to, I'm hoping the two orange ones because they always, they play a lot together. But, um... Maybe in about four or five weeks, we may, and I know, it's like right in the middle of winter time. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. All right, you guys go play. But either way, we're going to keep them. Ones that we don't keep here inside, we're going to keep in the, 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 the barn. And it's not, I wouldn't say it's really a barn. It's more like a, Mort, it's a Morton building. We call it the barn. But it's, it's insulated very well. And it even has uh, a, a heat source, too, that we use. It's safe. And, um, so I think they'll be, they'll be good. They'll have to be because <laughs> we can't, my husband, if it were my up to me, I would say that we would keep them all inside. But I completely respect my husband too, because it's his home too. And that might just be too many, but either way, you know, they're going to have, they have a good home. Now, I know it's Halloween. It's almost Halloween, which is weird because this is the first time that I, uh, have not decorated my house for Halloween. I, I like, actually I like All Souls Day a little bit better. That's a two days after it's November 2nd where you honor the love your loved ones who have passed away and um <laughs> like, uh but this year I just went any of my kids didn't really you know we'll we'll do something on Sunday that's fun but just since there were a lot of um losses and deaths here just uh recent just with the miscarriage of my grandmother and then finding out about Xavier it just it just I wasn't really feeling it, especially the part of Halloween where it gets and I'm kind of, it can be kind of weird sometimes. I, I like the uh, spookiness of it, like the weather and the, you know, maybe, you know, owls or stuff like that. But I just, I just didn't feel right this year. So, so having said that, I am going to be decorating for Christmas uh, this weekend, I think. So, <laughs> so I just ordered a, a pre-lit tree that was, so another, so, the back, so on to Christmas talk now. Um, now, normally we would go to the a tree farm, but the past few years we haven't been doing that just because it's, you know, usually we have to wait till uh, like December, the first week of December to do that because, you know, it's a real tree. They, you know, you need to keep them watered and then it's, a fire risk if they're not watered and they get too dry and and everything and then just I don't know so I think when the kids get older and oh <laughs> when the kids get older you know because it's still it's hard we have a two-year-old and a four-year-old and it's you know getting out and it's really cold out here in Iowa that time of year and when they get older I think we'll, we'll return that get back to that tradition and everything but it's almost easier just to, to put up a tree that's but we're gonna but I did purchase a pre-lit tree because the main thing 
that I was noticing with the, especially with our two-year-old was the, the lights. It was the string of lights that were just coming down. Of course, the ornaments would a little bit, but you know, those are a little easier to hang up. It's when the lights start coming down and uh, you know, so I, got, so I was really excited. I got an order to a, a pre-lit Christmas tree. So next week, next week the video will be um, some Christmas decorating. So it might be, it might be a, a little early, I know, but I just want to get my home decorated for Christmas early this year. I don't know. I just feel you just want it cozy and, you know, have, um, you'll just have that feeling of Christmas time. And I'll try to do a Thanksgiving video too. I don't know what, I don't know what I could do really, but we'll see. We'll see. Let me know if you have any ideas. And I'm still trying to get um, to some requests to like some organizing and things like that. Um, but uh, so yeah, so Christmas, I think that's going to be one of the main things. I think, I think one year I did like a black and white theme that the Buffalo check, which was, which was really popular, but I think I might do something else. Maybe just kind of, I don't know. Just want to make it everything coat, make everything just cozy. Maybe use a lot of pine and you know natural woods and and things like that. Uh, but we'll see. I'm really excited. So next week, next Thursday will be the Chris start of the Christmas decorating. So I'm really just really looking forward to that. And I'm thinking, see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else really going on. I know I had that homeschool channel, and I'm still trying. Oh my gosh, it's been. I've been meaning to post on on there and it's <laughs> it's been so hard cuz you know homeschooling during the day you know it's just a lot it's it's a lot but um but we homeschool is going really well um we uh, I'll try to I'll try to do an update on that channel I think the next video I had planned was a um a tour of there of the homeschool room but I need to do try to get back on there and do some more stuff but I think I think that's really about it. We're just kind of getting ready to bunker down here soon, and you know, I love the change of seasons. So winter time, I, you know, I, I don't mind it. I like being cozy inside, you know. So I know it's hard for livestock and animals and stuff like that. But so it's not not when it gets dangerously cold. I don't like that, but I like the snow and all that. So, but I think that's about it. Um, I'll try to get some footage, like I said, on the cats so you can see them playing and everything and sleeping. And, but I think that's about it. I'm sure I left something out that I was wanting to, to tell you guys. I know there has to be something. As soon as I stop recording and I'll be like, oh shoot, I meant to, to talk about this or something. But anyways, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not normally a video I would, I would do, but I wanted you to I'm really excited about the kittens and everything. You're probably like, oh my gosh, that lady is a crazy cat lady because <laughs> I already have so many cats. Looking forward to next week for Christmas decorating and Thanksgiving's coming up. Happy Halloween to anybody who, who, all who celebrates it. That'll be fun. And um, just take care and I'll see you next week. Bye. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby